everyone, this is Sven from ExtremeRigs.net. I just wanted to give you a quick preview of my test bench setup for the CPU water block roundup. Uh, what you're looking right now at is the Crystal Font 635. It is a USB kind of LCD display. <clears throat> and you can see it's kind of rotating th through a different kind of a few screens there. Um, and what I'm using this for is for accurate temperature logging of the water. Basically what I'll be doing in the review is looking at the uh, core temperatures minus the average water temperatures. Um, and, you know, so, so that will give me a, a very accurate idea of how well each block is performing. Because if you're not doing it relative to the water, um, then you can get kind of second uh, well, first order effects really, because obviously um, you can't go any cooler than your water. And that directly affects the temperature. Um, the air temperature is then a, a second order effect on top of that. Uh, so as you can see, we're running a 3930K at about 4.9 gigahertz. Um, it's running prime right now. Um, and so the, the temps are fairly high, um, depending on the stage of you know, what Prime is exactly running, um, because it's running a blend. You know, some of the tests it runs are uh, hotter than others. So you can see right there, there's an 83 degree core. Um, um, but the ambience in here are pretty warm. Um, if you if you see the, um, the air temperature and water temperature here, um, you see they all read 28.3. That's, that's the ambient here. The, um, you can see the, the temperature sensors all kind of gooped together right there. Um, it does not measure the water temperatures yet. That's the next stage of the project is to build two of those sen sensors into a bits power Q fitting. Uh, Rubidium did a very good kind of how-to guide over on uh, Real Red Raider about how to do that because these temperature probes are much more accurate than most other um, specifically uh, for water cooling uh, temperature sensors, which are normally kind of two-line thermistor types. Uh, these are these are digital probes that are calibrated to kind of 0.1 degree less than really ac accuracy. Um, so if we zoom out on the tech station, uh, this is a tech station that was sent to me by Rich, um, also known as Spotswood. Uh, my camera is not focusing. Um, but you can just make out, you know, here's your Rampage 4 Extreme, and there's only one graphics card in there. Um, you know what, I'm going to stop this and start over so that we can refocus. Alright, we're back. So you can see, um, CPU blocks right there, you got some memory, uh, either side. I've got some extra Gentle Typhoons running just to make sure the, uh, VRMs don't overheat because then it will throttle, throttle back the CPU and that's always a problem. See the um, 560 radiator there? That's the XSPC EX and I'm running 2150 RPM Gentle Typhoons through that push-pull. Um, so they have the 120 to 140 millimeter adapters on there. Um, I also have a, a King Instruments flow meter here. You can see we're running about 2.7 gallons per minute which is really high. That's about the lowest flow that I can get from my iWacky RD30 pump right there. Just being fed by this large 400 millimeter reservoir. Uh, it needs that in order to kind of get enough um, input water flow. Uh, so it's doing pretty well. It can, it can run about 3.5 gallons per minute if you turn it up all the way to 27 volts or so. Um, Shortly, Swift Tech are going to be sending me a MCP 35X2, the dual um, DDC style pump. Um, and the reason I want to use that instead of the RD30 um, is just so it's easier to control the um, the flow rates. Basically, I want to measure from kind of 0.5 gallons per minute to 3 gallon per minute, and see which of the blocks um, is going to perform best across that range. You know. For some guys who really want the best performance, there may be advantage in high flows, or there may be some kind of 
um, parabola type um, efficiency whereby you know higher flows cause turbulence in the radiators and so there may be some kind of maximum efficiency point that um, might be of interest to someone so that's kind of what I'm looking at it interests me um, and hopefully will interest someone else too so the blocks we have uh, for the test uh, right now I have fitted the uh, DT water blocks 5 NOS um, this is DT's first water block um, I also have his second water block, the Sniper, um, as well as the two high-end EK blocks, the older Supreme HF, um, and I think I think it's Rev4, which was the latest, has the latest jet plate anyway, um, and also the very new Supremacy block. Um, I also have the uh, Bits Power Summit HF block um, coming. That's being sponsored by Sidewinder. Uh, EK also sponsored the Supremacy and DT sponsored both of their blocks. I also have the XSBC Raystorm, the older uh, Raza block, and that is it. Oh no, I'm sorry, Swift Tech are also sending me their. Um, oh geez, I forget the name of the block, but they're sending me a block to review too. Um, it's, it's their Apogee HD, I think. Um, but I'll confirm that. So uh, this is pretty much the setup, um, and uh, one other thing, well, I'll, I'll show you how Project Deep is doing while I'm here. Um, you can just see in there, um, that is the workstation that's the 3930K Rampage 4 Extreme uh, with two loops, um, and you can see the right, on the right side there you have a D5 into a 250 millimeter reservoir and that does the minor loop that's the GPU, the RAM, the motherboard block and then up in this top section you can't really see it but there's the um, MORA 3, the 140.9 and that's um, being driven by two D5 strongs on the front through this reservoir um, so that keeps the temperatures pretty low and then uh, you can see I'm, the case is so big I'm able to use the top for a keyboard and mouse for the um, the bench test machine and then we have my desk here which is you can kind of see it's a little messy but you can see I'm running Prime right now and real temp is reading 65-ish to 81-ish which is reasonably warm but you know uh, not too bad. So um, that's about it for now. Um, I will keep you posted.